Well, they may look like a perfect St. Patrick's Day gift, but buyers beware. You may want to think twice about collecting old green books. According to the creator of the Poison Book Project, books with emerald green spines, covers, or pages could be laced with arsenic and other toxins. The books were mass produced in the 1850s and are sitting in many libraries across the world. Now curators are in a race to catalog the potentially dangerous publications. I ha happen to be reading at the same time a book about arsenic containing wallpapers from England in the 19th century. And as I was reading that and realizing that um, emerald green was one of the colors in the wallpaper that contained arsenic, I started to wonder about the color of the book cloth that I was working on. The, the pigment on the book was actually emerald green or copper aceto arsenite. And it's a highly toxic pigment. So, you know, when we realized that this whole book was covered with this pigment, um, we, we realized that we had a lot of questions to, to answer. The first being, how common is this? Because they were mass produced at the time, they are often in the circulating collection at some libraries. The Poison Book Project is currently developing a website with the Winter Tour Museum in Delaware. If you'd like more information on the effort, you can email the address at the bottom of your screen.